so uh, uh, I don't know Chinese. 呃，那对两位来说，这个都是一个新的尝试的领域。那因为是一个热爱，所以会继续的持续下去。那呃，让我们再往前呃一点，来继续再讲画廊经营这方面哦。那呃，我想可以跟各位观众分享的是，就是在开拓。呃，像国际市场，像 Pro 刚刚说的，可能会呃帮很多的艺术家去谈很多呃国际的呃艺术呃博物馆，然后让他们有更多的呃国际的展示的机会。所以呃，我想请两位来谈谈看，就说对于这种呃国际市场的 approach， 或还有就是对于自己所在画廊所在地的这个市场的经营上面的一些。食物的经验谈，那是不是有遇到过什么样的困难？然后还有呃，各自对于呃，像 contracts 在中国及呃香港，呃 g a l a Gallery 在韩国，那本地的这个市场经营，跟我们大家分享一下你的经验。Uh, the... Recently, about two or three years ago, there, has a huge, there was a huge boom in art galleries where, where my friends for a long time would call me and say, they want to open up, open up a gallery. How, how should I do it? Can you help me out? And I said, You're, you must be crazy because this is a very tough job, I think. It's a full-time job, and you have to be very close with all the artists, all the collectors, and you have to be everywhere. And, but I think before, when we started the gallery, we... We, we were thinking, we did actually open up other branches in other countries and running our own operation, but I think it's becoming more, the, everything, is, everything is getting much smaller and smaller, so I th we have changed our plan to make more partners than opening our own, own branches, like for Pro in Shanghai or, or Soka in Taipei and other places. We, we are more interested in partners rather than Working directly with artists or collectors, but I think that's the much easier way to work and more professionally. Yeah. I think in the last five, six years, everything changes because of globalization. Actually, the last ten years, but you really see it is the last five, six years. And when you go, we are all in different international art fairs. Because if you're in international art fairs, obviously you meet all the international collectors. And, and what Jo Yoon said is right, because three, I mean, two or three years ago, when the market was really booming, uh, we, can sell, we were selling paintings um, just by JPEG. I mean, paintings that goes up to, to five, five, six hundred thousand USD, and it's just by JPEG. One, and one JPEG there, and people's buy. And, and, that, and that means very one important thing is you do not need to open a gallery at another location. And, what, and, and also, I agree with Jong Yong, it's much better to find partnership. Because if you, if you open galleries, that means that you have less time. And you really need to cultivate collectors. And a gallery is a full-time job. Because it's not just your collectors, you have your artists, you have your internal management, and then you have the museums. So it is a full-time job. 呃，我想两位刚刚也多少有表达到，就是说从我们大家也知道，艺术市场在呃，大概两千零三零四年的时候，整个价格上扬哦，一直到两千零七年，然后因为全球经济市场的不景气而下降。那呃，我想请问两位画廊经营者，就是。怎么样来面对现在的经济状况？以以自己经营画廊的立场而言。Uh, yes. Um, when the crisis came, the everything was a, a real crisis for everyone, and we had very hard time. And because I'm because I'm from commercial gallery, we had to sell a lot of artwork to maintain our operation. But while we, when the crisis came, there was Literally no sales for at least six months to, if for other galleries over a year, and 
what we ended up doing was we, since we couldn't find a client who was who was investing or I mean who was collecting art for their collections, but but we found uh, clients from the companies and local governments where they had these high demands and they have where they have this huge promotion money to spend. So we did consulting for companies and where so we made uh, we made like outdoor sculptures, lobby. Uh, decoration lobbies or, or hotels or the facade of the building and we did a lot of projects like that and we also helped local local south part of Korea to make art parks or or small private museums and that's how we survived yeah. how about Pearl? I think the crisis came quite suddenly and everything just stopped and uh, what we did is, is I, you're right, I think not, I mean, at least six months to seven months, there is nothing happening. It's not just there's no sales, it was just quiet. And galleries were folding up, one after another. And many of the young artists, actually, they actually closed down their studio and, and, and they start finding jobs. And what we did from that year, 2009, is we stopped all and all our fairs except the Hong Kong one, and and actually we we uh, we look at what you know uh, uh, we look at our strategy and what we need to adapt to the strategy. So that's that's one of the reasons why we are looking at Asia, and actually like this year, yeah, we have. Um, and our decision is not even to go to Miami. Um, as, as of the artists, many of the artists, I always said one, uh, one thing is, when, when the price goes up very high, it goes down very, uh, very fast. So it happens to the design and it happens to contemporary art. So I think in the last six months, um, uh, people, people are very careful and very cautious about contemporary art. But on, on the blue chip um, art, uh, artworks, like uh, the post-war or the Impressionist, it is just, just going up. And there are a lot of private sales, a lot of secondary market sales. So most of the galleries are actually making money from the, from the secondary uh, market. Uh, 郑勇也有跟我们分享因为直接画廊的利益减少了所以他们就把大部分的business转向可能是跟政府单位或者是企业合作做一些公共艺术 auction 那画廊其实在经营第二市场的时候跟拍卖公司其实是会有相对的那甚至很多拍卖公司现在也积极的接触所谓我们画廊所经营第一市场的艺术作品呃不管是跟自己企业内的拍卖公司或者是其他的国际拍卖公司呃对画廊的经营的冲击是你觉得是有合作还是是一个呃对等的 Uh, okay, we, we founded the auction house about 10 years ago and the only reason we started the auction house is that uh, 10 years ago, we had IMF, the Asia crisis, and all the companies were falling down, all the collections were coming out of the market, and everywhere the prices were very different. In one gallery, it would be $100, next to it it would be $10, with the same, same artist, same style, same artwork. So, so, my, so we've started the auction house to, to make the market working, and, and actually we, we just started to make profit just four four years ago, past six years, it has been we we're losing a lot of money from after after six years we started making profits. But before we made profits, we were working actually very closely with the auction house because they needed a, they needed to find a client, they needed to find the artwork for secondaries. And but after they started making a profit, and 
they became the IPO the company, and we still have the stocks. But it became more like a competition now because they now can survive by themselves, and they also do. They are of course focused in secondaries, but they also do primary, which uh, we don't work together anymore. Which more like competition now. Yes. Uh, 那有跟其他的呃拍卖公司合作吗？ Uh, yes, uh, we've been working very. We've been long friends with Sotheby's, Christie's, and Phillips, and we were. What we were doing is we bought a lot of work from them, and and we sold a lot of works that that was owned by our clients. Uh, that pro 呢？你的画廊跟拍卖公司之间，您你有？自己的看法，或者是呃，有一些合作。They're my friends, but I don't work with them. <laughs> I don't work with them because I think in this market of a、um, in the in the contemporary market, I I understand that the most of the artists they want auction house because they do massive marketing. They make their names, they make their recognition. Collectors are actually referring to the auction prices as as a reference, right?、Um, and a lot of young collectors, actually, or collectors, they need auction to validate the price. But I have my I have my thoughts about auction because auction prices for me is never accurate unless they are really high price like twenty, thirty, forty million USD one because it's very easy. You can put a painting in an auction. We can I get all our friends sticking our hands up and push the price up. Okay, so in I mean my way of seeing things is not. I'm not the only one because all the Western market are seeing things in that way, and all the seasoned collectors are seeing things in that way. But I, but especially today, I understand that it's very important. Most of the auction house are ma- making money from private client, because once, once if a painting, let's say a painting, is in an auction and is being brought in. That painting could not be sold for the next two three years. So, in in、um, in order not to take those risk, many of the collectors has given to the auction house and asked them to sell by private client. So today, if you look at Solovies or Christies, they have very big private clients. I mean, private client side. And if the market is hot, is very usual. That you will go to an auction and find very good pieces,、uh, and and all the seller they want to put it in auction because you get the highest price. That's normal. 